So Denver is transitioning to reusable shopping bags, and I remember mine every time. I remember them when I'm standing at the checkout, and I recall that I left them at home. That foolishness costs 10 cents a bag now in many places on the front range, including Denver, but soon it'll be statewide as of the first of the year. Our Steve Stager looks at whether fees are changing habits like forgetfulness. Really seeing a positive reduction overall and honestly a lot faster than we were anticipating. Fort Collins hasn't been charging 10 cents for bags too long, only since May, but the city says since then people have reduced their use of one time use bags by 85%. A lot of people, you know, if they only have a couple items, they're like, I'm gonna skip the bag. Like, it used to be convenience to put it in a plastic bag. Ali Pommel leads the effort in Fort Collins. How does she know that the reduction is real? The grocers tell her team how many bags they buy, and her team is literally out there counting. Standing outside the grocery store with clickers and just counting how many paper bags are coming out in 15 minutes. But just because cities are seeing significant cuts in single-use bags, it doesn't mean people aren't still using plastic. In Boulder, where single-use bags decreased by 70% after its 10-cent fee went into effect nearly a decade ago, people still buy about 4.5 million plastic and paper bags a year. In Denver, people have bought about 38 million single-use plastic bags since the fee kicked in last summer. We have an estimate that Colorado goes through about 4.6 million single-use plastic bags a day. Danny Katz leads the progressive public interest research group COPERG. Those bags are uh, going to take hundreds of years to break down if they ever will. Starting in January, municipal boundaries won't matter anymore when it comes to plastic bag fees. A new state law requires them everywhere. And by 2024, most retailers will be required to phase out single-use bags entirely. Walmart's already getting a head start, announcing they will ditch both paper and plastic bags in Colorado stores next month. In the meantime, Katz says the fees everywhere should help people adjust and remember to bring their own. It's a way to help people transition away from, you know, sort of being told it's totally fine, grab a free bag, there's no cost whatsoever, to actually realizing there is a cost. So six cents of the 10 cent fee will go to the municipalities to fund recycling programs. The rest will go to the retailer to buy things like bags if they need to. After plastic bags are banned in 2024, stores could still provide paper bags, but that Kyle will still cost you 10 cents even when you're at the register. I want to post up in one of these Walmart stores on the day that <laughs> they get rid of paper and plastic bags. That's going to be pandemonium if they stay true to this sign and just ditch them. They're trying to give folks a heads up to let them know that it's coming. And that's Danny Katz actually said that's going to be really important that they not only just take the bags away, but you also do some education about why you're doing that. Yeah. In, otherwise, you'd be paying 10 cents for them or in a year you won't have this opportunity. So it's going to kind of train you to do this in advance. It hasn't trained me very well because yeah. I often, like you, get to the grocery store. I'm like, darn it. No. And what I end up doing is I pile 12 <laughs> items into my arms and I run out ashamed like a thief. I mean, I paid for everything, but my arms are full of things like a thief. I just rock it Costco style. You put it in the cart and you just oh, take it out to the car and just throw everything in the trunk. But then when you get home, yeah, that's the hard, hard part, hard time. Oh, yeah. look at us just kicking our problems down the road. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve.